Hello everyone. Welcome to our second lesson. We shall continue with the work, energy, power and machines. Okay? So I want us to get our attention to energy and before I do that, I want to remind you what we did last time. We tried to list the sources, the main sources of energy that we have and the main, main source was the sun, okay? Together with that, remember wind, we have fuel, we have geothermal, we have the dam and the waterfalls, we had ocean, okay, when we have the tides and waves, then we had nuclear or atomic energy, okay? And now, today, I want to continue with work and energy. Work and energy. So let me start by defining what is energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Okay? Energy is the ability to do work. And the SI unit is the joule. Okay? Is the joule. Let us get to briefly forms of energy. The energies that we had uh, listed there can be put now into groups. You can find out what is chemical energy. Okay, that is energy that we get from the food, from the charcoal, firewood, oils, and so on. Then we have mechanical energy. Okay, the energy a body possesses due to its relative position is called potential energy and we also have kinetic energy when a body is in motion is said to possess kinetic energy okay then we have wave energy okay this energy kind of energy may be produced by vibrating objects or particles okay okay Light travels in form of waves, so it has wave energy. Electrical energy, this is energy formed by conversion of other forms of energy. Okay, like if you have, a, you have a, a, a cell, a cell has chemical energy, but once the current flows in a circuit, then we say the chemical energy will change to electrical energy okay let us look at is this energy can it change from one form to another the answer is yes it can change from one form to another okay now we shall look at is this energy it can it be destroyed can we can we do away can we kill it in quotes can we kill it can we finish it yeah? That is the question we shall address when we have this small subheading, transformation and conservation of energy. Now, there are devices that can be used and they will change the energy they have to other forms. So if energy can be changed from one form to another form by a device, then that device is known as a transducer, okay? A transducer is a device that will facilitate the change from one form to another. E.g., we can have mechanical, mechanical energy changed into electrical energy, changed into heat energy. See? You can have a conductor rotating in magnetic field and we shall have current flowing as as such we recognize electrical energy form okay you have chemical energy which is contained in a cell that cell is a source of pd and when we have PD, 
we are we are talking of also current flowing and resistance so when a cell which has chemical energy allows current to flow in a wire then in that wire we talk of electrical energy and even in that wire when it heats up we will still talk of heat energy okay that wire which allows current to flow through it when it is connected to a bulb a bulb will give light okay when we connect it to a bulb this bulb will give light then we can also talk of light energy okay so energy we are seeing can change from one form to another different form let us look at the second part conservation of energy in a nutshell we are saying energy exists you cannot create it you cannot destroy it it is already there what we do is to harness it is like try to make it more significant for use try to harness it try to make it more significant for use okay so energy can neither be created nor destroyed but can only change from one form to another that folks begs for a simple question define or this state state the law of conservation of energy eh? so so far you have a lot of define state distinguish so far even in lesson one distinguish between renewable and non-renewable sources of energy distinguish you can be asked to define what is renewable energy list two sources of renewable energy you see list define state distinguish those are kind of question where there is no calculation they tend to be very common they check if you have understood the topic so here we have we have uh, conservation of energy and it is a law that you cannot create you cannot destroy but the energy can change from one form to another let us quickly look at work work is done when a force acts on a body and that body moves in the same direction as the direction of force so if i may give an example here i have a, a, a body here okay and now i am pushing it see i am pushing it the force direction the force direction is left going to right force is a vector quantity then this cell moved also from left to right then i can calculate work mathematically by by taking force i applied and i multiply by this distance which was in the direction of force and the si unit therefore will be for force is newton and for distance meter and not centimeter note when energy is transferred work is done okay when energy is transferred work is done since i pushed it i have energy source in my stomach in terms of food i ate so that is chemical energy which has changed to kinetic energy because i am able to move this this body is able to move and since it is moving it has kinetic energy so when there is energy transferred we also say work is done therefore we can relate the work done 
and the energy. Work is said to be done when energy is transferred. So work, in a nutshell, is sharing the same unit as that of energy. Okay? Because you see, we can say work done, force times distance, newton meter. But when work is done, energy has been transferred. So we are not saying energy is equal to work. No. We are saying when energy is transferred, it is changed from one form to another, then work must be done. Okay? Good. Now let us look at points to remember. Already there is a formula, so in the next lesson you will be doing some questions. But note, when energy is transferred, work is done. Or when energy changes from one form to another, then work is done. Now, since we already have a formula, this is very important for you to note. Okay? One, whenever you are given a question to calculate work, you sort out the quantities given and their units. Okay? You sort out the quantities given and their units. For example, sorting out, what do I mean? If force is mentioned, how do you know it? By its unit, Newton. So, if I'm given 10 Newton, then I write capital F is equal to 10 Newton. That is sorting now. Letters and figures. That is what I mean by sorting out. Mass. Okay? The quantity mass is represented by letter small m. So if I'm given a body of mass 20 kg, how do I sort that bit? m is equal to 20 kg. Okay? Hope you are well there now. After you have sorted out the quantities given, you go to step 2. You write down the knowledge or the formula that will be used. In all questions that you are asked to calculate, there must be a formula. So, identify that formula. Having sorted out, you now come to bullet 3 and you substitute the letters with the figures given. Substitute the letters with the figures given. Then, you do computation, correct computation. You can cancel, you can multiply, you can add. And then you get the final answer, which must have the correct units. Folks, that is how you lay out your work for good marks. Make your teacher's work easier. Make yourself comfortable by following those bullets. Till then, folks, I say bye-bye. Keep on subscribing. There is form 1, 2, 3, 4, physics and maths. Not all topics. This topic, I'm doing it courtesy of request by one of you, one student. I've forgotten her name, but she asked me if I could do it. So I'm going to do about four or five lessons. Till then, bye-bye.